Have you ever walked into your RV and smelled gas? We sure have. In this video, I'll show you how to replace your RV LP hoses, and if you'll stick around to the end, I'll give you a bonus tip that could save you money. Coming right up. Hey y'all, I'm Cole with Younger Every Day. On this channel, we share our RV adventures, do product reviews, and also share tips and tricks for RV living just like this one today. So if this is your first time with us, consider subscribing. So a few nights ago, we came home after dinner and smelled gas as soon as we walked in the RV. So immediately I told everybody to get outside so I could go check on the tanks and see what was going on. And sure enough, I could hear a hissing sound from one of these hoses. As it turned out, both of the hoses were leaking. So I went ahead and turned off the propane because I didn't want propane leaking into our house. So once I knew that I had two bad RV LP hoses, I knew I had to replace them. The first thing I did is figure out what kind of wrench I needed to unscrew the hoses from my regulator. So in this case, it's a 916 wrench for me today. So the first thing to do is make sure that your propane is turned off. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure both of my LP tanks are in the closed position. I can go ahead and disconnect the first hose from the first tank. Okay, then I'll go ahead and disconnect the second. Then I'll use my wrench to loosen the connection to my regulator. So if you remove your RVLP hose and you notice some small parts inside like these that are in my hand, you need to go ahead and stop because that indicates that the inside of your RVLP hose has a check valve built there rather than in the regulator. And at that point, you're going to have to replace the regulator with hoses attached. You can't buy hoses to replace there because all this stuff pops out and so you can't just reattach it in the right order. That would not be safe. If, however, you have a regular RVLP hose, then all you need to do is take that new hose. You're gonna either use some pipe dope or glue to go on the threading to seal that up that is gas tested or gas approved. Or like in our case, you can use yellow thread tape that I got and you can see that it is gas approved. You wanna make sure that you use something to seal that connection that's going to be tested for something like using your gas or your propane with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape on the end of the hose here and I'm gonna wrap it twice according to the instructions. I chose the tape because it is easier to prevent that from getting in the end of the hose. It, to me, it seemed easier than using pipe dope or glue so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around once, twice, okay, there we go. Then, really it's just a matter of threading it back into your regulator, which hopefully I can do without taking the tank off, looks like yes. So get it in there, start it by hand so you don't cross thread that, so I did start it by hand, but I'm going to go ahead and finish it a couple turns with the wrench here, just to make sure I have a nice tight connection. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of the regulator here. Hopefully the tank doesn't get in the way. May. Okay, now that I got the tank out of the way, let's try that again. Then we can go ahead and reattach to our propane on both sides. Then once you reconnect it, you go ahead and turn your propane on on both tanks. You would take soap and water solution in a spray bottle, spray it on your hoses and all the fittings that you just messed with. And then once your gas is on, you would check to see if there are any bubbles that are being created. Let you know you have a leak and that you need to check and readjust what you've done and perhaps reinstall the hoses. Okay. So if when you're removing your hoses, you do have some small parts inside and you go ahead and stop, meaning that you've got to replace your regulator assembly now, you can't just do the hoses. Now let's talk about that. Okay, so I've got my tanks off and get access to my regulator now. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the regulator from the outlet going to my RV. This is a three quarters inch wrench in my case. Let's see if I can actually hold this steady enough to get it though. It is not loose. Okay, so this fitting was so tight, I decided to regroup, grab some WD-40, 
and also some safety glasses so I can really try to put some uh, elbow grease on this thing and try to get it loose. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it off of this, uh, this post here. So I'm just gonna unscrew that. A little WD-40 in there. in a position where maybe I can get it off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. There's our old regulator. Free and clear. Now we can put the new one on. First thing though I've got to do is put my tape back on my hose here. I just wanted to go ahead and wipe the WD-40 off of there, make sure it's nice and clean surface before I put my tape on. Tape on there, just one wrap, two. Now, should be able to get this started and I can tighten it down with the wrench. It's definitely Get tight. Okay. Let's go back in here with the wrench. I'm trying to get it about as tight as it was before, or about to the, the space that it had before the gap there. The threads. Okay, let's get this back in place. So screw this back in. It was sticking through the other side of this plate by about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. So I'm trying to get it right back where it was. R for securing the hoses back in there. All right, so now we're ready to get the bottles back on. Okay. Okay. It's nice and secure. Get that one secured. Okay. We're both back nice and snug. All right, so now we've got everything installed back. We'll go ahead and turn the gas on. Okay. Regulator shows everything's working. We'll go ahead and spray a little soapy water here around our fittings. Also down here, especially on this one that I just put on. To make sure everything's good. Okay, so I just turned on our heater and our water heater. Make sure some gas to be flowing so I can check these connections with some soapy water here. And everything looks good. So I think that we are good to go. Okay, now it's time for the bonus tip. If your RV is still under warranty like ours is, you might do what we did. So the first thing I did when I realized I had two leaky propane hoses was to call up the manufacturer, in our case, Jayco, and tell them, hey, I've got my Jayco North Point, my LP hoses are both leaking, where can I go to get them replaced, and is that covered under my warranty? They told me that it is covered, and they gave me a local RV dealer that I could go to who was authorized to trade out those LP hoses for me free of charge using my VIN number from my trailer. So with that, I'm not gonna have to pay one cent to get these hoses replaced. So hopefully that might save you some money also. So replacing two RVLP hoses by ourselves and free of charge is just another way that we're living younger every day. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope that it helps you out. If it did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and drop us a line in the comments below. And for our question today, I'd like to ask you, what have you replaced on your RV or what repairs have you had to make? I hope that you go ahead and check out some of our other videos over here. And whether you're a first time viewer or a long time subscriber, we'll catch you next time.